Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes. The digital notation app Dorico recently came to iPad, and one of the benefits that this brings is how it works with the sheet music reader app Music. Music allows you to build a library of sheet music that you can organize and access from any device. You can turn your music into interactive live scores, then annotate and organize it exactly as you need. Dorico lets you compose your own music with powerful input and editing features that result in the best automatic music engraving. When you use music and Dorico together, something magical happens, unlocking powerful workflows for building your own custom music library. Let's have a look at how the two apps can work together. I have a printed piece of music that I would like to import into music. Let's open the Music iPad app. On the Home tab, I can tap to launch the scanner, and music automatically finds the music and takes a photo of it. Now I can save, enter some details about the music, and tap Done. The piece is now in my library, and I can do things such as add annotations, audio files or YouTube videos, and more. Of course, you can start with any music, including your own printed sheet music or digital files you may own. Now the fun really gets going when you tap the button to convert the imported music to live score. This allows music to play the piece, and you can choose the instrument, the tempo, and even transpose the music to a more suitable key. What's more, you can now export the piece as Music XML, and when you have Dorico installed, you can send that Music XML directly to it. This launches Dorico and opens the piece as a new project. It's as easy as that. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll turn off the system track and signposts, and also change a couple of layout options, because we don't need to see flow headings or staff labels at the moment. The music is now completely editable, and I'm going to turn this single line into a full piano piece. In setup mode, I can change the instrument to a piano. And in write mode, I can input music for the left hand to play. Now the music is how I would like it, I can easily send it back to music. I can do this in a variety of formats, for example, exporting a beautiful PDF of the project. Music cleverly lets me add this PDF to the same piece as my original scan, and I can quickly switch between them. I can even send the Dorico project back to music as Music XML, again adding it to the same piece. This music is available to play back instantly. And transposing it even rewrites the music in the new key. And they all live within the same music piece, making it incredibly easy to manage, organize, and perform. Building a library of the specific music you need couldn't be easier with Music and Dorico, and we think you're going to have a lot of fun using these two great apps together. Thanks for watching.